Hey guys, got a new uh, review for you today. Decided to do my civic duty. And on a, is it Saturday? Yeah, on a Saturday, just get drunk on camera. <laughs> I've got uh, Vulcan IPA from the Black Star Co-op. Uh, Black Star Co-op is one of my more favorite uh, places in town to go eat. I go out once a month, something like that, usually to go get their fish and chips. They have a really great uh, brew pub, gastro pub sensibility. Black Star, everything I've had there has been really, really great. No issues with the food, no issues with the beer, always top-notch service. The staff is very relaxed. Uh, very typical Austin in some ways. Um, when I went over the beer that I have for review, I thought it was kind of interesting because it's stuff that I don't usually drink. And the one that we're getting to today is the Vulcan uh, IPA, which is, they say, piney, citrusy rye. I just know IPAs are not my favorite category, but in this instance, I wanted to uh, sample something different, a little bit different review, and also pay homage to a local facility that I really love. Um, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and pour. Uh, see if we can get a, a good close-up here if I back off. There we go. And anything that references Star Trek is, is, is generally going to be uh, something I'm interested in. And we'll see how this goes. Going to give myself a little bit of foam at the end, but preferably not too much. Not a huge IPA drinker. Uh, it's not the thing I go to um, consistently on a regular uh, basis. But as something different, uh, something to try, I thought it was going to be a good, a good review item. Uh, I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. IPAs have a notoriety for being like over hopped. Um, it's not something that I really want to drink a lot of. And one of the more interesting things I've noticed over time is I'm drinking lighter beers and ales and ambers. Um, even when you start getting to box and porters, stouts, um, I don't like them as much as I thought I would. I thought I would be completely hardcore about everything I was drinking. And over time with tequila, I prefer Blancos at this stage. And with beer, I'm consistently going with light amber beers. Um, just good ales, but full of flavor, but just lighter. Um, I feel like it's more amenable to me having a session with friends, sitting down and drinking. If I had too much of this IPA or a stout or a porter, I think it would get to be too much. Like I can sit down with you and definitely enjoy uh, several pints of Guinness, for instance, but that's about my limit for my level of drinking and how I do things. Let's go ahead and give this a, uh, a smell and see how it does. We'll flip cameras real quick so you can see close up. interesting it almost um reminded me initially of like pineapple i was like what is that what does that remind me of it's almost like um apples have a component called malic acid it almost almost hints on that but it's got more citrusy aromas a little bit of yeastiness uh fruity mainly the citrus is what kind of blasts me a bit um, when it says a citrus though, I'm not getting like orange peel or lemon peel. Again, it's like a little bit more of like apple or pineapple. Slight, uh, bitterness, not anything overwhelming. I think it's the extra hops that are in the, the beer itself. Frothy, bubbly, tangy almost. A 
Now, I will say, for somebody who's saying it's not a huge fan of IPAs, this is really good. And I've not had a robust selection of IPAs to sample over time. I like that it's dry and not um, sweet. When it comes to sweet uh, liquor or beer, I have to be a little careful. Uh, it can leave me a tendency to be a little hungover. Um, this is dry, kind of crisp, refreshing. Again, that, that sort of pineapple scent is what I get initially. I think it's just a great beer. When people come to Austin and they go, where should I eat? Uh, for me personally, this is one of the facilities that I recommend people go and check out. I think you're going to find locals, not tourists. I think I find the same thing with Salt and Time, which is a, uh, what do you call it? Farm to table kind of a uh, restaurant here in town. They cure a lot of their own meats and dry aged beef. Um, I think that this is a, a local favorite. I really, really love just the overall ambiance. It's very relaxed. Um, nobody's going to look at me twice because I go in and tie fisherman pants. Uh, it has a very different vibe than other facilities in town. Really uh, love their staff. They've always, always been very, very polite when I go in. It's crisp. Um, it's got a, it's got a, well, what do I say beyond crisp? It's almost tart, just a little bit. I don't find it to be overwhelmingly bitter. Um, I'm a little bit more open to bitter flavor compounds than some people, but I don't find it to be overly bitter. When I look at their uh, website here, you can buy some of the beer, uh, like the six packs to go, which is what I did in this case. Uh, they have a membership that you can join. Um, their menu uh, rotates just a little bit, depending on, I think, what's available seasonally. But it's one of the places in town that I really support. And again, this is the Vulcan uh, IPA. Great beer, great staff. Uh, it feels like I'm contributing to the local economy when I go. It's full, robust. It's got a, a nice color to it. Still, the, the main flavor that I get is that citrusy, uh, almost like pineapple uh, scent that comes off of it. Just an inordinately great beer. I really recommend you check out Black Star Co-op. Uh, after this review, I think I'm going to review another uh, beer by them. The uh, Is it the Recalcitrant Dockhand? Anyway, I think it's a stout or a porter from them, but I'll pull that up in just a bit. You guys have a great day. Uh, thank you so much to Black Star Co-op for keeping me inebriated and well-fed in Austin, Texas. I'll see you guys again very, very soon.